the first um, thank you very much. It is a very critical uh, and a problem that needs again hands on uniting every part of Nigeria. The first thing when you want to talk about unity, you talk about justice, fairness, inclusiveness. I will ensure that every part of Nigeria is included. There's justice in the land, things that are done fairly. We will consult, we will negotiate, we will make sure that nobody is left behind. Where we need to beg, where we need to appeal, we will do so. We'll be, we'll, I, will, I will even start by touring every part of Nigeria and showing that all of them understand what we are doing, understand, oppose. We have to carry everybody along. When you do that, you start, start showing care. Every part have to simultaneously, you know, consulted, dealt with, included in whatever we're doing. Oh, great. So uh, that takes me to the fact that the factors that divide this country, when the issue of religion is brought up, the issue of ethnicity is brought up, these, some of this diversity, uh, we're supposed to use it to unite the country, but it keeps causing division. And I'd like to get your thoughts and your comment on the, uh, the clerics and the Christian the writing, uh, leaders who are said to have attended the unveiling the of vice president. Well, sir, once you saying? start doing the writing, the issue of ethnicity and the issue of religion takes a back seat. Those things surface when you're not doing the right thing. I've asked a question. Show me anywhere in Nigeria where the Christians buy bread cheaper or the Muslims buy bread cheaper. Is there any part of the north where there's uninterrupted electricity? Or if today you can't travel from Abuja to Kaduna or by road, by air, or by train, is it because a southerner or anybody is the president is Castina safer than Ogun State? So that issue for me does not arise. If you start doing the right things, I've not seen any road that has started like Lagos about a road and they say only people who pass there are Christians. So that issue, if you start doing the right thing, they will take a back seat. On the issue of the bishops that attended the, the unveiling of the vice president, quite frankly, I do not think, um, in the first place, I don't think they're supposed to be there. I don't see why it wasn't a religious thing. It wasn't anything to do with uh, church. So even the bishop's attendance is suspicious and worrisome. I don't know why the bishop should be where we unveil uh, this. They should be in the church praying. So seeing them there is actually something of we are first turning, we are first turning a, a serious political issue into a theater. You know, for example, I don't know why they should be there in the first place. I, we, I mean. I think we unveiled the uh, vice president in PDP headquarters. I did the same thing. We didn't even need to have a, a reverend there to talk about bishops. Bishops should be in the church praying for the country. And allow us, it's a very serious matter. So they are coming there in the first place. For me, the, it's turning a, a ginger situation into a, a, a gentle situation of the whole.